What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a slide transition in Premiere Pro. So you can see I have Premiere Pro opened up and this is a time lapse of a sunset and then we also have uh, a time lapse of London. So we're going to make a nice transition here. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the effects tab and we're going to search for something known as push. You'll see it'll be under video transitions, under slide and called push. Now what you want to do is drag and drop this in between the videos. You can see right now it's just getting stuck to the right clip and not both of them. That's okay, so just add it in there. Zoom in, make sure you select your transition, head over to the effect controls, and this is what we get. Now this is our transition here, and of course we want it overlapping, so we're gonna drag this off to the left. So now it is taken over both videos like so. So this is what we currently have. You can see very slow, very boring, and not much effects to it. So we're going to be making this better. The first thing, um, if you click it, you can actually choose the direction you want this to happen in. So for example, it's just going side by side. However, if you press this button here, this is now from um, bottom to the top, like so. Then you can also do the other way around, and you can also choose the different directions you would want it in like that. So firstly, I'm going to be making the transition quicker. So to do that, we're going to press this button here, and we're simply going to bring it in. And you can see that is now much shorter. So if I play this through, it's quicker. But again, I want it a bit more quicker, so I'm going to press it again until I'm happy with it. There we go. Now still, even though it's fast, it's still pretty boring. So we're going to add some motion blur to it. For that, we're going to head over to the Effects tab. This time, what you're going to type in is Directional Blur. You can see it's under Video Effects, under Blur and Sharpen, and it's called Directional Blur. Now for this, we don't want to add it straight onto a video. We're actually gonna head back to our project. We're gonna right click, new item and adjustment layer. Select okay, drag and drop this on and you wanna make sure it is above your um, transition like so. So you trim it down. You don't need to be completely accurate. You just need it somewhat like this. So you can see. And now with that effects directional blur, we're gonna drag and drop this on the adjustment layer. So make sure you select it on the adjustment layer, come over to effect controls, come down and you will see directional blur. Now set the direction to 90 degrees. Then you also want to toggle the animation for the blur length. Now at the very first frame of the transition which is right here, make sure you're on it. You want to make sure it's set to zero. Then come across to the center which is right here and you want to set this blur length um, to whatever you want to. Personally, I recommend anywhere between 40 to 50. I'm going to go 45 and you can see this is the effect it will give us. And then at the end of the transition, set the blur length back to zero. Now you'll see if I play through this, that's what it gives us. So I'll come across slowly for you so you can see it. As we are sliding across, it's also blurring it out and then goes back into focus like so. Just makes everything look a lot more better. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.